All right, Jordan Lowell, and we have uh, run for a touchdown. We have thrown for a touchdown. I think the only thing left is you have to receive a touchdown yep. now. And you, since you've played virtually every position here, uh, is that next? Uh -huh. Do we have that little pitch back to Brendan, and you take off in the end zone? And uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't. I'm not going to give away any secrets, but it'd be pretty cool to catch one. So we'll see. What I just happens. want you to know. Last week I talked to Shaq Washington. I said, Shaq, I know you're a high school quarterback. When are you going to get to throw? Yeah. And you saw what happened. Right. So, well, hey, so maybe, maybe you're foreshadowing that. I guess maybe it's it's coming. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, you're cool. finding ways to the end zone. Though you got to be having fun with what's going on, and you know because it seemed like early in the season. You're, you're not getting any time. Mm -hmm. And then they figured out, you know, this guy can have that. Yeah. Although some of us knew that. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been it's been a lot of fun, you know, um, see my you know, hard work pay off and, you know, get an opportunity to help the team and um, get out there and be successful, you know, running the ball and, you know, getting a chance to throw the ball too. Um, you know, giving the defense another element they got to prepare for and, you know, so they can't just load the box every time I'm in there. So it's been fun. And, um, you know, I just hope these next couple of games and then the bowl game I can continue to help the team and get some – um, you know, finish it off with three more victories. Is this finally what you had hoped for? When I remember years ago, I don't know if it was here or somewhere on the field, but I think you were here with your dad from Georgia Tech, and I said, who's that guy? And mm -hmm. they, they said, Jordan Wallen's quarterback, Georgia Tech. You know, I said, yeah. you're always interested when, I, when another kid's coming right. in. And uh, so we weren't sure what you could do, but this we're finally seeing more and more of it. Yeah, it's nice, you know, just to have the coaching staff to have faith in me and, uh, you know, allow me to, you know, continue to build on, you know, success that I have had, you know, I guess in the past, you know, I've been able to do some things a couple times uh, and then, you know, felt like I kind of my, after, you know, I was able to help the team, you know, like the Syracuse game the past couple of years and then, you know, my playing time after that is kind of, kind of, kind of sunk. So, um, you know, to, to see them continue to make me a part of the game plan and, um, you know, let me continue to, to build on things has been really great. You're kind of demonstrative when you when you find the end zone, and, and I, I know you're a wrestling fan. Is that where it comes from? I, I, you don't want to get the celebration flag, but it, I mean, do you, do you kind of feel like ripping the shirt yeah. uh, like like the holster and uh, showing the pythons off and all yeah, that? Maybe a little bit. Um, I think that's just more my you know passion for the game of football and um, you know my excitement. You know, I just I, I kind of bring a I feel like I bring a different level of excitement when I'm in there, and um, you know that's kind of how I've always played the game. You can. You know, ask anybody that played with me growing up and stuff. That's just how I've always been, and um, you know, to be able to continue to do that, it's been um, fun. And just you know, that, that's just my personality, and that's kind of how I always am. So now I saw pictures circulating around Halloween. You, you were the, the Macho Man, was it? Yeah, I was, okay. I was Macho Man. Yeah. Now he, he's your guy. Yeah, I love Macho Man. Or is it Brendan K here? I love Macho <laughs> Man. He's a uh, you know, he's a fun figure, and you know, you know very uh, flamboyant. And, um, you know, had a had a really good personality, so I guess I guess maybe I'm a little bit like him. Have you ever stepped into a slim gym? <laughs> stepped into a slim gym a couple times, yeah. You go all off, off the tight the top uh, buckle there, or uh, uh, that, that could I'd be love dangerous. To, yeah, I'd love to. I'd I mean, is to. that something? I mean, you, you you could probably do some playing here though, but is it something you you would explore? Oh yeah, I mean, if it was an opportunity for sure. Because guys yeah. have done that. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a. Uh, Brian Pillman years ago, mm -hmm. you know, got a shot with the Bengals, didn't work out, turned into a wrestler, and, right. you know, he had some success. Uh, you know, there's several guys that have done it. Yeah, no, it's not uh, easy work, but. Right, no, for sure. I mean, if it was an opportunity that presented itself, I'd be more than happy to, but I think right now my, uh, you know, my attention's on, um, you know, after the season's over, finishing this season out strong and helping this team win a few more ball games, and then uh, just trying to work my way up the ladder, becoming a strength coach, so. All right. Uh, were you around the Oklahoma game when? Uh, yeah, that was the year I transferred. So I was I was down here. at Paul Brown. Mm -hmm. You know, Jim Ross was there. Really? Oh, he's a big Sooner fan. Oh, I did Seriously. not know that. Yeah, he was walking around with cowboy hat. He was down in the, the no way. back time. Seriously, man. that's pretty cool. I yeah. didn't. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, there was your chance. You yeah. could have given him your, your, <laughs> you know your your little take there. And uh, yeah. Now, if you had to do it, are 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 you a heel or a face? Well, I don't know. Or, and, or could you go and, uh, both ways? Me and Mitch Metter talked about it. We think we'd probably be a tag team. And be, we'd be a heel tag team. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'd be good. Uh, we'd be good villains. Yeah. WWE. Well, you need you need both. Yeah, but you know, at right. some point they always turn. You that's know, right. That, that's, that's I think you know we're both pretty. Uh, we'd be we'd be able to do both of them. You know, be a be a baby face and be the be the heels. So. All right. Pretty pretty uh, versatile. So. All right. That is the versatile uh, Jordan Llewellyn. <laughs> he does it all. Thank you.